From a horrifying prison experiment to the first attempt at a parachute, here are the top five terrifying science experiments that went horribly wrong. Number five on this list is the aviator suit. Back in the early 1900s, flight was on everyone's mind. Flying machines were extremely new and were not very well developed, but scientists wanted to push it further. In this case, the specific scientist in question is Franz Reichelt. Franz Reichelt was designing an aviator suit. This aviator suit is just a fancy name for what we now consider to be a parachute. He folded up a fabric that was roughly 320 square feet and made it into a wearable aviator suit. The idea was exactly what we have now for a parachute. You jump into the air from a high height and then your parachute comes out and you should gently float to the ground. This is great in theory, but it didn't work out that great in practice. Franz had tried his device from the roof of a few buildings, but it never worked. He claimed that it wasn't his invention that was the problem, but the height of the building. So, naturally, we just needed to try it from a higher building. Enter in the Eiffel Tower. Now, up until this point, he was using test dummies to jump off the buildings, and he was all set to do that again for the Eiffel Tower, but last minute, he got a change of heart. Franz was feeling that performance adrenaline and wanted to show off his invention to the crowd below, so he strapped into his suit and leaped off the Eiffel Tower himself. He beautifully floated down to the ground in a picturesque fashion to the sound of crowds cheering and chanting his name is what he wanted to happen. What actually happened is that he jumped off, the suit didn't work, and he fell all the way to the ground from the Eiffel Tower. Believe it or not, the landing didn't actually kill him though. He was already dead. Franz had a heart attack before he hit the ground when he realized his suit wasn't gonna work. Number four on this list is Australia's mustard gas experiment. One would think that testing a deadly poisonous gas on people would be kind of a silly and dangerous thing to do, but that's exactly what happened in this science experiment. Top 10's writes, Queensland, Australia set the stage for some awful chemical weapons testing on human subjects. The year 1942 brought Australia into the thick of World War II. Hostilities when Japanese aggression brought more questions than answers about how mustard gas might behave and deliver harm in a tropical climate. The chemical weapon had already been deployed against China by Japan, sparking fears that Australia was next in line. To investigate human experiments using a gas chamber which was moved from Townsville, Australia to Melbourne on a three-ton truck were conducted. The trouble is the danger of mustard gas exposure was underestimated. Over the three years to follow, a range of secret tests were done. The research included gas chamber tests involving volunteers who were Australian Armed Forces recruits who apparently did not fully understand the degree of potential harm to which they were getting themselves into. The tropical conditions quadrupled the effects of mustard gas, leaving many with nasty injuries. At Innisfall, volunteers tested how long they could carry on their duties while exposed to burning mustard gas, while 1944 experiments on Northbrook Island saw volunteers dropping into trenches after the island was doused with the deadly substance. Imagine literally joining the army to help your country fight, and then your own country, who you've decided to risk your life for, uses you as a test dummy with mustard gas. These were new recruits who had no idea what was going on, but were just trying to help their country, and then BAM! Australia drops a bunch of mustard gas on them and wonders why a lot of them got permanently injured. This one was one of two things. It was either pure stupidity from the Australian government, or it was pure cruelty. Both are bad considering these are the people who run the country making these decisions. Either way, as you can all imagine, the experiment proved that mustard gas is still very dangerous. Number three on this list is Frankenstein. All right, so I know, I know, Frankenstein is a fictional experiment and everything else on this list actually happened, but when it comes to science experiments going wrong, Frankenstein has kind of definitely set the mark here. Frankenstein is the classic novel written by Mary Shelley back in 1818, where a young scientist named Victor Frankenstein decides to organize a science experiment that goes horribly wrong. Well, initially, the experiment actually goes horribly right. We all know the classic line, it's alive, because the experiment did actually work and the monster did actually come alive. There have been multiple adaptations of this story over the years, with some stories talking about how this monster attacked the village below and incited a mob, but in the original story, the monster actually strangled Victor's future wife. Attacking a village, strangling Victor's lover, 
neither of these outcomes are good, so ultimately I think it's safe to say that this experiment didn't go as planned. Number two on this list is the Stanford Prison Experiment. This was a psychological science experiment that is often considered one of the worst in history. The study was done in 1971 and was meant to be a two-week simulation of prison. It was run by Stanford professor Philip Zimbardo and went horribly wrong. Wikipedia says participants were recruited from the local community with an ad in the newspapers offering $15 per day to male students who wanted to participate in a psychological study of prison life. Volunteers were chosen after assessments of psychological stability and then randomly assigned to being prisoners or prison guards. Critics have questioned the validity of these methods. Those volunteers selected to be guards were given uniforms specifically to de-individuate them and instructed to prevent prisoners from escaping. The experiment officially started when prisoners were arrested by real Palo Alto police. Over the following five days, psychological abuse on the prisoners by the guards became increasingly brutal. After Christina Maslach visited to evaluate the conditions, she was so upset to see how study participants were behaving that she confronted Zimbardo. He ended the experiment on the sixth day. Like the Milgram experiment, SPE has been referenced and critiqued as one of the most unethical psychology experiments in history. The harm inflicted on the participants prompted universities worldwide to improve their ethics requirements for human subject experiments. Other researchers have found it difficult to reproduce reduce the study, especially given those constraints. It truly was extremely brutal, and the fact that it went on for as long as it did is kind of crazy. Many of the people that participated here had long-lasting effects, and this incident changed their lives forever. All for $15 a day just so this sick professor could see that prison ultimately really sucks. And finally, number one on this list is Unit 731. Unit 731 was absolutely terrifying and not a group that you wanted to be associated with at all. Basically, this was a group that conducted multiple science experiments on civilians. They were around from the 1930s to the 1940s in the Japanese army. They were led by General Shiro Ishii and were responsible for killing potentially over 200,000 people. These deaths were sometimes purposeful, but mainly they were just a byproduct of the horrible experiments that they were performing. Live Science says numerous diseases were studied in order to determine their potential use in warfare. Among them were plague, anthrax, dysentery, typhoid, paratyphoid, and chlorora, according to a paper by Dr. Robert K.D. Peterson from Montana University. Numerous atrocities were committed, including infecting wells with cholera and typhoid and spreading plague-ridden fleas across Chinese cities. According to Peterson, the fleas were dropped in clay bombs, which were dropped at a height of 200 to 300 meters and showed no trace. Prisoners were marched in freezing weather and then experimented on to determine the best treatment for frostbite. Former members of the unit have told media outlets that prisoners were doused with poison gas, put in pressure chambers until their eyes popped out, and even dissected while alive and conscious. After the war, the US government helped keep the experiment secret as part of a plan to make Japan a Cold War ally, according to the Times report. They were terrible experiments that often failed and resulted in the loss of human life. These experiments were honestly doomed from the beginning and were destined to go horribly wrong. But there you have it guys, that is our list of the top 5 terrifying science experiments that went horribly wrong. Please comment down below what you thought about this list and some other crazy science experiments that didn't go according to plan. Also, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I'll catch you next time.